Okay, hey YouTube, it's me, Monster Thor Power Tech, and today I'm bringing you a re-upload of my Decimate tutorial. I have gone out and purchased a new mic, so the sound quality should be better. Um, Decimate is a Game Boy Advance and um, DS emulator, which means that you can kind of play the console on your computer. So first thing you do, you open up your web browser and go to um, Decimate.org, D-E-S-M-U-M-E dot O-R-G. And you should come to this site right here. Um, as you can see, you can just play around the site a little bit. Um, but on the side, um, it'll say Pages and Downloads. Um, you click on the Downloads button, and it'll link you to this site. Right here um, at the top, it says um, the latest version of Decimate is 0.9.6. So you just got to find a 0.9.6 um, download. Um, right there is the Decimate. Um, I think it's a 32-bit binary. Um, 0.9.6 and my computer is running a 64-bit operating system not a 32 but I have the 32-bit binary installed and it works fine but if you really want to there should be a 64-bit binary towards the bottom of the page which you can get okay so basically just click on the one you want which should bring you to the SourceForge download page um, if you download it from this site but not a mirror site it should be a safe download um, I've had no problems with it but since I have Google Chrome, you, I have to wait for it to da install, and then I'll click down there to open it. Each browser installs it differently. And then so this comes up, and I forgot to mention that this is a .rar file, which means that you will need WinRAR to use it. But it's like WinRAR, you just extract it to your desktop. Yeah, WinRAR is a pretty safe download. Um, if you download it from RAR Lab, it's very safe. Uh, it's actually re I recommend it because you can open up different files. So basically, now you have all these new files on your screen. Um, they all really mean nothing, but you kind of you need to keep them all. So I just make a folder, and then I title my decime, but I already have a decime folder, and then you just drag them all in. And then so now you have all of your folder files that you need to keep just in one nice spot. And then to actually open up actual decime. Just find the um, the file that just says Desume. It, it's a on the type. It says application. Just go to that one. And then a blank box comes up. So this is the actual emulator right here. Um, this is I don't have a ROM loaded into it as of right now. But to show you how to do that, I think I'm gonna go to just my normal Desume folder where my main one is. See, I can see I added a folder called ROMs where I keep my games, cause ROMs are games. And then I got my save folder. So right here, I'm opening up Decime. Just exit out of that. And then to open up a ROM, you go File, Open ROM, or Control. You hold down Control and O. And then you can search your whole hard drive from this screen. Um, you can just go wherever your ROM is located, but mine is already opened and you just double click it and you wait a second it takes a little bit it takes a while to load like 30 seconds or so and there it is um but if you watch my mouse cursor like from right there over is about um the bottom top and bottom screen that's where it separates um instead of touching the bottom screen you just click it that's how you select things. Um, you use the arrow keys as the directional keys and you use Z, X, and A and S, I believe. But you can custom map your controls to what you want. Um, you saw me click the stop button right there. You can stop the ROM um, wherever you want. You can play the ROM or you can reset the ROM from the beginning. Um, but here's the thing though. Like when you want to save your game, do not use the in-game save feature. What I just showed you is that if you go to file, there will be a thing called um, like save as, save file as. I recommend making a ROM in your ROM folder, a saved game folder, and you save all your games into there, and then you just keep on overriding it and overriding it, and you can save anywhere you want in the game. So like right here, I just loaded loaded my Pokemon Black file, and you can like save wherever you want, which is nice. Um. So, yeah, I think that's it. So, yeah, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more tech videos, gameplays, reviews, and tutorials. This has been Monster, and I'm out.